everybody, Trevor here, and welcome to another Top 10 video. If you're a Thomas fan like me, have you ever wondered about which Thomas merchandise you don't want to get for yourselves? Well, I feel the same way because today, we'll be discussing my Top 10 Thomas toys I will never buy. Now, just because I'm a huge Thomas fan doesn't mean I have to collect all the merchandise. Otherwise, I'll be hoarding too much stuff at my family house. For this list, I won't be including any knockoffs. However, despite me not wanting to collect any knockoffs in my collection, the only ones I'm keeping for myself are my Trapmaster ones, such as Iron Bird, because they seem to work just fine, just like the real McCoy engines. This list is for licensed products only, and just because I don't want to get these 10 items for myself doesn't mean I hate all of them, but I'll get to more detail on them later. Oh, and keep in mind that most of these candidates are Tomy, Trackmaster, and Playrail items, while there are a few others that aren't. There are probably some more Thomas toys I don't want, but these are the ones I will never buy for sure due to reasons I'm about to explain. Now with that out of the way, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. Any more Thomas Wood items? I've already ranted on Thomas Wood enough times on my channel, so if you want more detail on why I hate this range so much, I'll provide links into the description down below. I decided to put this very low on the list because Thomas Wood has already been dead since 2021, with Kenji's model being the very last one to be manufactured. Thankfully, Mattel revived the original wooden railway line but in a newer format, and I was very happy to have the 2022 version of Kenji in my collection. Oh, and if you think that Thomas Wood is better than the newer wooden railway line of 2022, then I feel sorry for you. Number 9. The Japanese Talking Engines by Playrail Why are all these on the list? Simple, I don't speak Japanese. Sure, some of them do have an English-speaking option, but it features the Japanese voice actors doing English. I seriously prefer the UK and US voice actors for the characters, especially Martin Sherman, who only voiced Thomas in seasons 13 through 18, but that's just my opinion. Number 8. The Talking Action Trains by Tomy. Like the last candidate, this one also has talking engines like Thomas, Percy, and James. While it's great that they were voiced by Michelangelo and Robin Smith respectively, I'm still not going to buy them mainly because I already have some of the 2009 through 2010 Fisher Price models, which I think are better. I'm also running out of room for more new trains in my Tomy Trapmaster inventory. And not to mention, they're very hard to find nowadays with expensive prices on eBay and stuff. Number 7. Any more Take Along, Take and Play, Adventures, or Minis? In my opinion, these ranges are passable. And the funny thing is, I used to consider Minis as my fourth favorite Thomas brand and one of my top fives. But because I don't care for these types of Thomas toy brands anymore, I decided to include them on this list as my number 7 spot for a few reasons. For starters, I'm starting to lose interest in these four things nowadays. Secondly, I don't want to hoard too much Thomas stuff at my house anymore, especially something that I don't care much about these days. But thankfully, I still have some of these left over in my inventory just for sharing purposes. And furthermore, they're not as good as Ertl in my opinion because that classic range was my freaking childhood. So yeah, that's why I donated most of these things to charity. And don't worry guys, I still care about Bachman, Wooden Railway, Ertl, and most of the Tomei Trimaster stuff in general. I can promise you that. Number 6. The Volcano Park Deluxe Set for Wooden Railway I've already talked about this in my Top 10 Worst Wooden Railway Items video, and I'll try to keep it brief here. The Volcano looks cheap. It includes a generic Thomas instead of either a special variant of Thomas or Samson himself, and not to mention, the pop-up function on top of the Volcano hardly works. Again, if you watch Jay Louvier's review on it from years ago, you'll see what I mean. Now, as much as I love the Dinos and Discoveries DVD, this set is still wasted potential, and it feels too gimmicky as well. I suggest you don't buy this set for your kids because it's just that bad. Number 5. The Bubble Loader for Wooden Railway Here's another wooden railway item I've talked about in my Top 10 Worst Wooden Railway Items video. If you've remembered that video, I've put it as number one for being the absolute worst classic wooden railway item in existence. In order to not make me sound like a broken record, 
I'll provide a link into the description below just so you can understand why I hate this destination with a burning passion. However, I put it as number 5 here because like the Volcano Park Deluxe set, this one is also wasted potential. Though it could have worked if it was a reskin of the original Barrel Lord from 1997. But no, they had to design it like this. So therefore, I don't recommend buying this for yourself or for your kids because it looks stupid and useless. Number 4, the Trackmaster Hit Toys Alfie. If you thought the prices for Tommy Oliver were bad enough, then you haven't seen the outrageous price for Trackmaster Alfie. I mean, I remember stumbling across it on eBay a long time ago and it was like over $700 plus tax. How crazy is that? And not only that, but he's even more hard to find than Tommy Oliver. Heck, even in use condition, he's freaking expensive. Yeah, don't waste your social security on stuff like this. Number 3. The other G-Scale and N-Scale models by Bachman. These are on the number 3 spot because for one thing, they're even more expensive than most of the rare and hard to find Tommy Trackmaster stuff. Secondly, when it comes to engines and rolling stock, these are the only scales I will never buy because I'm more interested in HO scale as well as HON30 scale which are narrow gauge engines that run on N-Scale track. Also, like some of the previous candidates, I don't want to hoard too much of this stuff, except for some of the ones I still care about like my first Botman Thomas set that I have gotten for Christmas in 2015. However, the only G-Scale items I'm keeping are the human figures because they're cheaper than any of the other G-Scale stuff. And they're easier for little hands to hold on to, I just kinda wish they made more models besides these three. Number 2. Any Lionel Thomas trains. No offense to my friend Gilbert or anybody else who still likes Lionel trains in general, but from where I stand, I don't want to buy any Thomas toys for this range mainly because I don't care for Lionel anymore. And I won't be buying any of the large scale items either because they're freaking expensive and hard to find. And unfortunately, these were discontinued possibly due to budget constraints, but hey, at least they still make some O scale models. Another reason why I don't want to buy Lionel trains anymore is not only the very expensive prices, but it's also due to the fact that the company only made a few engine models, which are Thomas, Percy, James, Diesel, and of course, Ari and Bert, who were already discontinued. Oh, and did you know that Mavis was going to be made for Lionel before she was cancelled? Yeah, sad fact, isn't it? Now, before I get to my number one pick, I just want to give a bunch of honorable mentions. Mighty Mac for Tommy Trackmaster. I might actually get him someday, whether in new or used condition, but I'm not going to promise that. Tommy Oliver. I was going to include him as number four, but I might get him someday at a decent price, just not brand new in box due to the outrageous prices on eBay. Monkey Cover Thomas and the Colorful Freight Cars for Play Rail. I actually think this one is kind of cute because I like monkeys in general, and the fact that apples and bananas are some of my favorite fruits. Besides, the James and the B race of 2022 is worse, which I might also do an unboxing review on someday. The Bachman models of Ari and Bert. They would have easily been lower on the list due to the fact that they were discontinued in 2019, which explains why they're hard to find nowadays. But ever since the announcement of Salty's 2022 reissue, I do hope that one day, Bachman will make the decision to re-release these two diesels in HO scale, but with slight modifications like a one-letter abbreviation on each of their sides to represent their names. That way, it would make it much easier for kids and adults to tell them apart rather than just the, the amount of stubble that they have. And finally, number one. Any more of the All Engines Go bullcrap. If you've been following me for a long time, you know that I hate All Engines Go with a flaming passion. I'll provide links to those videos in the description below because I don't want to sound like a broken record. However, in terms of the new Wind Railway line, the only ones I'll buy are the new characters. Because they're more interesting than the redesigns of Thomas and his friends. Now let me know in the comments section which Thomas toys you don't want to buy for yourselves. Do you agree with my list or do you have your own personal preference? 
Join me in next time where I'll be doing another top 20 Bachman Thomas items I like to see be manufactured because believe it or not, there are plenty more I think deserve either an HO scale model or a G scale model. But I don't want to spoil it too much because I want most of it to be a surprise. This is Trevor Davis signing off.